It was one of the props used in the movie Flight of the Navigator. Sarah. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. Not this time. It never happened. It's false. This is actually an easy thing to always get wrong because of regurgitation from other people over and over and over and over again. But it's not. It's not the ship from Flight of the Navigator, and I have the receipts. This is Jim Scholl. If you're not familiar with Jim Scholl's work, uh, he has worked in Walt Disney Imagineering for 30 years, and he was the one who designed that spaceship uh, on the Coke shop. In fact, uh, he wrote up this tweet where he discusses his inspiration to it and how he has never in his lifetime seen Flight of the Navigator. He's the guy who made the ship. And everyone sees the similarities and they go, well, that's the movie prop on Flight of the Navigator. And he's like, no, dudes, it's not. This was cleared up like months ago. But there's still creators out there that regurgitate this ad nauseum. Um, almost every single time they go to Magic Kingdom, they have to say it. They have to say it. And they have to say it even though they know it's wrong. I haven't heard one creator say, even though he heard it from the animator, I'm sorry, from the Imagineer himself, he will still believe that the Imagineer was wrong. He still does not take the guy who made it as his own fact. He still will say, this is from Flight of the Navigator, and say that the guy who made it is wrong himself. Let's give Jim Scholl his proper due. In proper respect. If he says he didn't do it, he didn't do it. 